looks really good. There's like minimal creasing. My face looks really good. This girl's crazy. Sabora. Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Faith. If you guys are new here, in this video, I'm going to be testing out the New House Labs foundation. I'm really excited and um, I was just intrigued by the way they marketed the foundation as well as a lot of the claims it has. And House Labs already has really good stuff. I have their old stuff that I'm also going to kind of pair this with today. If you're new here, make sure you go down below, hit the subscribe button, like this video. And yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. As you guys can see, I already did my brows. I used the Anastasia brow is to do my brows today and I'm gonna use the foundation to conceal my brows because that's how I do it I don't use concealer to conceal my brows so I'm just gonna use this Ruby Kisses concealer brush and I'm just gonna take a little bit of the foundation before I start let me actually kind of read some of the claims I guess that the foundation has for those of you guys who are watching this more for the information the foundation actually has a lot of claims it claims that it is cleanly formulated free of pegs fragrance, phthalates, and 2,600 other questionable ingredients. It's skincare powered, created with their proprietary fermented arnica and 20 plus skincare ingredients to reduce redness and irritation and protect from stress. So I guess environmental stressors. Um, they say it has long wearing coverage, which I like because I'm actually going out tonight with my friends. So I want to make sure that my makeup lasts. So I'm testing this out today. It says that it's buildable medium coverage, which I generally go for medium coverage. And it says that it kind of gives you like a second skin finish, which I could kind of see in the pictures that they use to market it. So I'm really excited to try it. It also comes in 51 shades, which is really, really nice to see. And it was pretty easy for me to know that this was my shade. Um, this is marketed as a cool tone, which I don't really see it that much, but I'm gonna swatch it again and see. Uh, I picked up mine in the shade 490 medium deep cool this is what it looks like the packaging is really cute and it has a pump and I just like how it looks it looks so sleek and just nice and it actually has like weight to it which I also like the box itself is really cute it's made with recycled ingredients which is really nice I just like the sleek packaging so um yeah we're just gonna get right into it I use this to conceal my brows like I said so I'm just gonna add a little bit directly onto the brush just like that And I zoomed in a bit, so I hope that this is okay. But I'm just going to go ahead and conceal my brows with it. Like, I like that color for me. It looks kind of warm to me. I don't really see where it's that cool. Maybe I'm just not seeing things right. But it's definitely not, like, super, super warm. But it's not, like, super cool to me. It kind of looks a bit more neutral to me, if anything. But I really like the shade. I like the formula of it, too. It's really smooth. So off rip my thoughts, I really like the color on me. I think that this color is basically, like it's basically my skin color. And I'm just really, really happy about the formula, honestly, because it's easy to move around. It doesn't dry down fast. I accidentally put a little bit too much product on this eye and I was worried about how it would blend out. But even now you guys can see like here on my nose, like the product is so movable and it doesn't dry down that fast. Um, which I like so it's kind of good for beginners in that way if you really need to take your time with this product You don't have to panic because you feel like it will dry too fast. I like how it concealed my brows It looks really really nice. You can kind of see how sheer it gets in the middle here Because I didn't have that much product left on my brush So it definitely is a more medium coverage, but I'm excited to go in on my face with it But I'm actually gonna do a little bit of an eye look today, which I haven't done on my channel in a while So I'm just gonna kind of quickly speed that up and do it and then we can skip over to trying the actual foundation I 
Okay, you guys, so I did a really soft eye look. This is like the most eyeshadow I've done. Um, I hope you guys can see well, but I did use the four Sunset House Labs palette. I just used the shade Sun Kissed on my lid as well as to kind of blend out my bronzer. I just used my bronzer, which you guys will see later in my crease. And that's it. I did a liner with my Essence Liquid Ink Liner. And these are Affirmative Beauty Essentials lashes, okay? So now we're going to test out... The foundation I'm just gonna go right into it i primed my face already using my elf hydrating face primer this is what i've been using lately and i really like it so i'm only switching really this up in my routine today and then i'm using it with all my favorite products so i can really test if i just like this one pump on my face and i'm gonna start blending it with my elf ultimate blending brush oh this color is nice this is literally my skin color in a bottle. Hold on. I really like the coverage too. Wow. Okay, so it's definitely medium coverage. It's not really giving me full coverage. I think my skin has been relatively clear lately, so I can really tell when something is like covering, covering my skin. My skin still feels really breathable right now. Like it doesn't really feel like I put anything on my face just now. So, um,. This is one half of my face with it. This half is with the foundation and this half is not. So I really like it already. It definitely does still look like my skin. Um, it's not heavyweight. I don't even feel anything. So I like it so far. I used two pumps on my entire face. This is what my skin is looking like. You can see through still and see some of my impurities. Like here I have a few dark marks. Um, but it's like really nice and breathable. I don't really feel it on my skin, which I like because lately I've really been using tinted moisturizers and just lighter foundations. I'm going to do the rest of my routine as normal. I'm just going to kind of speed that up and also film my reel at the same time. So if you guys want to see like a detailed tutorial of me and how I do my face, there are plenty on my channel. Just make sure you subscribe and watch them if you want the details. Details. So typically what I do after I blend out my concealer is I go back in with my foundation brush just to kind of go around the areas where the concealer meets the foundation just to really give me a seamless look. Now because this is so sheer coverage, I actually am going to add just a little bit more product. I'm just adding like the smallest little drop and literally just adding it around the areas where I concealed so that way I can really blend the concealer into the foundation perfectly but my skin looks really really good I really like this match a lot like it looks just like my neck but I will say that this really does mesh well with my NARS concealer beautifully like my complexion looks so nice and actually looks pretty even um so i'm really really liking it so far i'm about to continue just setting but i just kind of wanted to do that little trick that i usually do with you guys just to kind of see how the concealer mesh with the foundation but you guys you guys see the material i really was excited about this foundation and i haven't really gotten excited excited about a launch in a while but her old products were really really good i saw that she rebranded i was like i need this foundation Cash, boom.
Sabora. Okay, so I just finished my face. I really like the way that my skin is looking really, really natural and just very soft. Like, my skin just looks like skin. So, I really think that it holds up to that claim. Um, my skin doesn't feel dry at all. I did use a good amount of powder since I know that I'm going out. But this foundation is definitely more on the hydrating side. And I don't feel anything really on my face. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a whole face of makeup. But um, I'm going to go and kind of get myself together and what I'm going to wear. And then we're going to start this wear test. I don't know how long I'm going to be wearing this foundation for. But um, so far it looks really, really good. Let me know what you guys think. I don't use highlight at all. And it's kind of giving me a nice kind of glow. I have a feeling that this is going to kind of wear nicely throughout the night. I just have a really good feeling about it. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I really, really like the eyeshadows. These are really old, so the formula is actually really, really good. I'm just going to kind of get myself together, and then after that, we'll start with our check-ins. Okay, so this is what my face is looking like. I just got dressed and kind of fixed my hair a bit. It's really frizzy. I'm going to do it again later. Um, but this is what everything is looking like. I really like how my skin looks. It looks really natural and radiant. Also, I really like how there's literally no creasing even starting to form in the first place. I use this product with all the stuff that I really, really like and know that work for me. So anyhow, I see any cracking, whatever, whatever, I know it's going to be the foundation. I'm not the type to be mad at small lines. I'm just mad if they come hella early. Like, say I went to go get dressed and I came back and I already had small lines, I'd be like, yeah, this is a no. But... After maybe three hours, four hours, I expect to see a mild one, but my powders that I use usually have me really well covered. So um, yeah, but everything, everything is looking really, really good. I'm gonna check in with you guys in about two to three hours. I will let you guys know how this holds up. I'm also hoping to take pictures later, so we're gonna see how it looks in picture. Yeah, this is the look, you guys. I hope you guys um, kinda like my makeup, and I will catch up with you guys in a bit. So this is the two hour mark I'm about to leave, um, but this is what my makeup is looking like. Not a crease really in sight, like you can kind of see my mouth crease a little bit, but it's really nothing to be honest, like this makeup looks really really good. There's really no creasing under my eyes like that or anything, like this foundation really is holding up to its claim. So I'm about to go out and I will catch up with you guys later on in the night. <laughs> Okay, so this is like, I don't know what hour this yeah, is. I like <laughs> <laughs> Girl! What hour this is, but I'll insert it. It looks really good. There's like minimal creasing. My face looks really good. This girl's crazy. <laughs> but look at my skin. Guys, so this is what my foundation is looking like right now. It is 2 a.m. basically in the morning. I have basically no smile lines, really. And there's like m basically no creasing under my eye. Like this foundation for me personally is a 12 out of 10. Like it actually just looks really good. Like there's really no other words. You guys see everything. You guys saw the application. I really like the foundation. I think it's gonna be in my like everyday rotation. Like the color match, the way it wears. Like look at this. Like there's no small lines. And usually I do get bad small lines. Not really bad, but like they just happen so overall i really like this foundation i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm about to wash my face and go to bed um 
but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye